like you're going to save that little bit. Yep. I'm going to save that and I'll put a lever, make my own lever. And uh, so it works. That's a very cool thing to have. Your floors look awesome in here. Yeah, the floors are all uh, 16 gauge. In the yeah. firewall, I made mean, out of 14 gauge in the head. Yeah. Just, just to straighten things up, you know. Yeah. Mm, that looks real good. It looks small in here, and you know, it's small, but I mean, they all are. Nice thing about these is they are wide enough to have room to get in. It's not like a Model A. Yeah. You know, Model A is so tiny that you can't hardly get two people in a Model A. Um, and if, you, if you're big at all, you know, then you, it's pretty hard to fit in. I kind of settled on like about a nine inch windshield when I, I did a bunch of measure and I sat in here and I put a bunch of cushions and things to sit on and this right. and that. And I thought, well, with a nine inch windshield, I'll be able to see really good, yeah. be comfortable. I won't have to dock and do any of that kind of stuff. And uh, the, the back of the cab, I, ended, I was going to go with a five inch chop, which would have been a straight straight down five inch chop, but uh, it actually brought this down quite a ways. You know, mm -hmm. I know it's only an inch, but an inch is an inch. It makes a big difference. Yeah. So uh, I ended up not going to five inches. I ended up going to four inches, yeah. and I slanted it a half an inch. Well, you wouldn't have had any back glass at all if you'd gone with that. No, if I was going to go any more than this, I would have cut the roof <laughs> right. in the back right here and then right. kept the opening yeah. bigger, you know. Yeah. You know, it's one of those things where you could go overboard so easy building one of these things. Oh, yeah. I know, but I don't want to. I just... <laughs> no. Well, that takes all the fun out of it if you do. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny, you know, you go to a car show and, and uh, there'll be two or three 32 Fords sitting there, high boys or something that somebody's got 100 grand in. There'll be one of these things sitting next to it and everybody's looking at these. That's the way it was. That's the way it is with mine. Um, people come and make a big crowd around my old uh, rat rod roadster, and it's basically it's a piece of junk compared to most of what's at the show. Yeah. But people see a perfect car, and it's like you know, it looks like a new car to me. They all look quite the same. <laughs> yeah. Even if it's even if it's a beautiful '32 Highboy or something like that, that we all know is fabulous and, yeah. and would all love to own. I mean. People will walk right past them and come up to an old rusty looking car that kind of makes you wonder. My car, and there's a, there's a boy that works at the museum, he was just a teenager then, he had an old Model T sedan and he had gotten it running and it looked like it just rolled out of the barn. In fact, one of the running boards was kind of held up with a bungee cord and would kind of flop around, but he had it running with the original Model T engine and everything. Had a, a crate sitting inside it to drive it there. Yeah. Man, the people just flocked around that yeah. thing. They just couldn't get enough of it. You drove this here, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Had a ball with yeah. that. Yeah, plus it's a piece of history, right? Well, it is, and it's interesting. You, you, you take an old car, you know, something like this has been sitting in the woods for 20, 30 years, and bring it out and put a motor in it and drive it. And uh, just that, you know, not not strip it all down and redo everything and remake everything, but just literally put it together and make it run and drive it. It's just, it's kind of fascinating. Yeah, yeah. You know? Because it makes people look at other old junky things and maybe a few people will think, well, rather than crush all that, you know, we could make something out of that. And maybe yeah. it'd save a few cars. <laughs> yeah, no. It'd be cool. Yeah.